So you have an Android phone and you want to be able to transfer your photos and videos to a MacBook or an Apple computer. It's very, very easy to do. Now I record all of my videos using an Android phone and, and I use my MacBook here to edit. And in order to make your MacBook, you know, when you have a Windows computer and you plug in your Android phone, you're able to transfer the data, uh, the photos and videos right away. However, with a MacBook, if you go ahead and try to transfer um, photos and videos, if you, if you directly connect your Android phone, nothing's going to happen, okay? The easiest way, what you have to do is, and don't even mess with the, uh, there's Wi-Fi transfers, but there's always a like, connection issue. In, you know, you just have a, a lot of like, trouble and then there's like always troubleshooting issues anyway this is the easy way to do it is just go ahead and download this file right here this little android guy this is called the android file transfer once you download it one time then every time you connect an android phone is the same thing as connecting it to a windows computer okay and i'll put a link below where you can uh get this but here here's the website right here android file transfer download it install it and then once you install it you're going to get this little android guy the icon looks like this little green guy here. So for example, let's go ahead and grab a phone here. And here's a Samsung Galaxy, uh, this is a Note 10. And I'll go ahead and just plug this one in here. And we'll see what happens, okay? I'll pop it in. You can see that's charging. And I get a uh, can't access storage. Okay, look at my phone here. Allow access to phone data. I'm gonna go ahead and click on allow right there. And now, oops. Let me do that again. Let me, it's already plugged in. Let me just go back to the Android transfer here. Let me just click on that. Okay, so here it is right here. Here's that window. And now you can see my DCIM folder right here, my camera, and you'll be able to see all of my photos and videos. And you can see it right here. Then you can just go ahead and drag and drop it onto your MacBook, uh, whatever you want to do, okay? Now here's another, uh, let me go ahead and hook up another phone here. Okay, it's a little bit different, okay? So let me go ahead and unplug that. Let's just go with a Google Pixel 4 here. And some of your Android phones, you'll have to um, input more information in. So for, for example, I'll go ahead and plug this uh, Google 4, Google Pixel 4. I'll plug this in here. And it says up here, uh, can't access storage. And the reason is, is because some of these Android phones, you have to basically just go ahead and scroll down. And then if you look at the phone, It'll say Android system. You got to tap on that. Then you got to tap it on the tap on it again. And then we have to go ahead and choose file transfer auto uh, Android auto. So file transfer. I'll tap on that. And now once I tap on that, this automatically pops up. And then here you go. Oops. Let me go ahead and tap that again. And then you can see we have the DCIM folder and all my videos and uh, photos, videos, everything is right here and then I can go ahead and transfer it direct. I can drag and drop it directly onto my um, on my MacBook. And then that's uh, pretty much it, pretty simple. Any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching.